Excuse me, little dog. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Hi, right, guys. It is a lovely late October night, although it feels more like an early September uh, day and night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is Thursday, is it October 26th, 2023, uh, where I think we hit a record high temperature today and again tomorrow before old man winter gets here next week which is why the little dog and I are busting our ass uh, to get ready to get out here. I got three more days at Bugs in a Jar where we head off, so I uh, haven't had much time for doom scrolling, but I want to send a big thank you to uh, EP from BC uh, for sending me this link to Jessica Wildfire's newest essay. Now, I used to be, you know, I'm a little bit conflicted. Well, up until up until today, I was a little bit conflicted by Jessica Wildfire, but she went over, she left medium.com and started this new site called OK Doomer. So uh, I did not follow her over to OK Doomer, but uh, Jessica Wildfire who is, at least on Medium, uh, she was like, after Umer Hack, she was, you know, the reigning queen of the Medium.com Doomosphere. So, I I'm just warning you guys, if you are a fan of Jessica Wildfire, you probably don't want to listen to uh, this video. And so... Well, I don't know who I'm speaking as. So the, 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 two, the two doomers who live inside my brain are, are having, are, are having a, a, a big fight over who gets this rant. So I don't know uh, which one of the doomers in my brain are even going to get this rant. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, if, if, well, I, I guess you'll know after I do the rant and listen to it, I will decide which channel to put it on, leaning towards Collapse Chronicles. So I hope that, uh, after I get this rant off my chest and go back and listen to it, that it ends up at Collapse Chronicles. Oh, and, and not that other channel that we don't talk about here on this respectable Doomer channel, uh, Co Collapse Chronicles. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try to, uh, to watch my mouth. Uh, I hope I don't slip into a bunch of F-bombs and, uh, and uh, B bombs and CFM bombs and whatnot. But, but anyway, if you are a big fan of Jessica Wildfire, you're not going to like, you're, you're, you're not going to enjoy this rant. Uh, so where do I begin? So the, the essay that uh, EP from BC sent me, from OK Doomer uh, is titled, which came out, I guess, yesterday or maybe even just this morning, You're Not Worth Saving, a famous 18th century economist said the quiet part out loud. So we are going to say some of the quiet parts out loud during this rant. So anyway, guys, I was, my first tack is, is, is that I was going to read this essay, that, that this unbelievably clueless essay. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm reading this shit 
supposedly written by somebody that calls herself a doomer. And I'm thinking, okay, as, as I'm going through this, I honestly did not know if this unadulterated horseshit coming out of her mouth or her uh, computer or wherever it came out of, I, I said, I, I honestly don't know if this is satire, that Jessica Wildfire, the self-proclaimed doomer chick, well, I guess she doesn't add the word chick onto the word doomer, but you know what I'm talking about. The queen of the, one of the queens of the doomosphere. Uh, <laughs> going up against, uh, who she was going up against here was Thomas Malthus. I am a, a, a obviously anybody who knows Sam Mitchell or or Sam Mitchell's evil twin, who we don't talk about here, knows that both of us, one, of, one thing that uh, the two of us in my brain agree on is, is that we are rock solid, unapologetic, unrepentant Malthusians. And Thomas Malthus is one of my biggest heroes uh, in, in, you know, in the history of the world, uh, that, that Thomas Malthus is one of the great geniuses. And so this is uh, <clears throat> Jessica's full frontal attack on, on Thomas Malthus and, a, and, and by extension, anyone who is a Malthusian which would be me. Uh, just an out and out attack uh, against Malthusians uh, pointing out that there's too many humans eating too much stuff on this planet. I'm not going to insult my intelligence or yours by reading this unadulterated horseshit on, on either one of my channels. I will put the link on to it, uh, and you can read it yourself and form your own opinions. But you, you, you know, I, I'm, I'm reading this and going, is this self-proclaimed doomer? Uh, is this satire? I honestly did not know if, if this article was satire. Uh, and, and, you know, and I'm and I'm thinking, if if, if this is not satire, uh, if, if this crap. Uh, coming out of Jessica Wildfire's mouth or her ass, as the case may be, is for real if she honestly believes uh, that, that Thomas Malthus was one of the most evil people in the history of the world, then uh, Jessica Wildfire, Jessica Wildfire is a doomer like Sancho Panza is an American bully pit bull. Are you an American bully pit bull? Uh, Jessica Wildfire is an embarrassment to the word doomer. Okay? I, I, I want it clear, let me make it clear that I uh, completely reject, well, there is one aspect which I am, which I am going to get to in, 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 in a minute here, but Jessica Wildfire is not a doomer any more than Sancho Panza is a pit bull. Okay? And, and you know, as I'm reading this, I'm thinking, you know, where have I heard this before? Where have I heard this rant over and over and over again? And then I remembered, oh yeah, uh, it, it's this Alex Jones. This sounds like some shit coming out of Alex Jones or, or David Icke's mouth. And, and uh, so I went on YouTube and I found this, uh, this rant by Alex Jones which is, I, I, I can't play it here, guys, because of the copyright strike and all that other stuff. You know, Alex Jones has been pulled down uh, from YouTube. I can't risk 
uh, stirring up any shit on either one of my channels, uh, playing this Alex Jones thing, but listening to Alex Jones rant and putting it up next to this little limp dick uh, lefty rant uh, by uh, Jessica Wildfire. Jessica Wildfire is a piker. Alex Jones is the king of the anti-Malthusians, but it was, uh, it, it was like, what the hell, Jessica? Uh, did, did you, did you get this off of Alex Jones or David Icke? Uh, and, and of course, what was, it, it, it was never, it, it was, it was right below the surface of, uh, of Jessica's rant because unlike Alex Jones, she doesn't have the balls to say it out loud. Uh, like, like Alex, uh, you, you know, spouting uh, this shit uh, out, you know, out loud in one of in one of the classic rants I have ever found on YouTube. I do miss Alex Jones, guys. He he truly was a master uh, of the game of, uh, of ranting, even though 98% of what he was talking about was unadulterated horseshit. The guy was entertaining. Uh, <clears throat> But the, the, what is just below the surface of Jessica Wildfire, and of course is one of the major focuses of uh, Alex Jones, it, it is the ultimate conspiracy theory. And that is the depopulation agenda of the New World Order, that the elites the elites of the world uh, want to depopulate this planet, that they want to kill us all. Uh, it, 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 it is the ultimate, the, the number one unadulterated horseshit conspiracy theory on the entire planet. While Jessica, a little bit to her credit, never quite says it out loud. You know goddamn well what she's talking about. It, it, it is this New World Order, Illuminati, uh, elites uh, wanting to depopulate this planet, uh, completely ignoring the fact, completely ignoring the fact that the new world order and the elites and the and and, and, and all of the evil empire, the CEOs of uh, of the global industrial uh, corporations and the politicians they have in their pocket, and all uh, what uh, are are one hundred percent dependent. A global industrial civilization in its present form. 100% dependent on an ever-growing population. This is why Elon Musk, the father of, of at least, what, 10 uh, children, if not more, why uh, Elon Musk is saying that too few people it is the biggest threat to uh, to uh, civilization, to global industrial civilization, is too few people. Well, look, you know, well, it, it, he might be right if he's talking about the present form of global industrial civilization, that the fewer people there are to prop up these evil blankety blanks like Elon Musk and all the rest of them, uh, it, it, it is a threat. Uh, it's, but it, it is the best thing for the planet, uh, uh, of course. So she conveniently leaves out Elon Musk 
uh, advocating for more and more people that I guess Elon Musk thinks that maybe we need a hundred billion people. Alex Jones is actually on record, I wish I could find it, where Alex Jones says there is no reason, no reason that he sees why there cannot be one quadrillion people that is a thousand trillion people or is that a, or a million billion people and every one of us owning a sports car and a motorboat alex jones and maybe jessica wildfire jessica do you believe that uh there could be one quadrillion people on the planet? I don't know. You're a breeder. Uh, may, maybe you do uh, believe this crap. But the you will notice if you do take the time to read Jessica's hilarious uh, essay and then listen to the Alex Jones rant, uh, that, that sound a, a, a lot like each other. The difference is that every time Jessica uses the word conservative, Alex Jones uses the word liberal or libtard. Uh, so according to Jessica, Jessica Wildfire and Alex Jones are apparently in complete agreement about Thomas Malthus, that he was one of the most evil sons of bitches in the history of the planet. So Jessica and Alex are on board together on that. But of course, Jessica, being a limp dick lefty, uh, she it, 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 it is looking at it, you know, blaming it on the right-wingers while Alex Jones over there on the right with the same rant blaming it on the left-wingers. Uh, but both of them, uh, you know, spouting this unadulterated horseshit. Uh, good Lord. Uh, but you, you know, the, the, these goddamn doomers, and, and I mean, Jessica put this out there, so I'm talking out here, but, but, but there's plenty of them out there. Uh, you, you know, as soon as the rubber hits the road, and, and whatever the subject is, uh, of, of course, uh, Jessica Wildfire is, is a major vaccine and, and mask Nazi and whatnot. As soon as the rubber hits the road and, and something comes up uh, that, that, uh, talking about, usually with pandemics or public health, uh, about humans dying, they suddenly, Doomer flies out the goddamn window. All right? And, and, and they start complaining uh, about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I'm going to say it out loud. The four horsemen of the apocalypse need to be unleashed on this planet. Uh, there have got to be some checks and balances uh, on, uh, on uh, the number of humans on this planet. Uh, good Lord, and as soon as these doomers uh, start hearing about, you know, Mother Nature trying to keep our numbers in check, which is the number one job of Mother Nature, because humans are the biggest threat against Mother Nature, who do you think uh, they defend? Do you think it's Mother Nature, or do you think it's humans? As soon as, you know, as soon as whatever it is, 0.2% of humans die in some pandemic, the world has come to an end. Next thing you know, there, there, there's a goddamn depopulation agenda by the elites. 
and, and, and of course, uh, you know, she she da gets into the damn vaccines and, you know, talking, <laughs> you know, talking about how the elites are are keeping vaccines from the from poor people and we're going to talk about the poor people here in a minute i i there is one aspect that i that i agree with jessica on which i i'm going to get to but i absolutely loved it you know she did not mention bill gates or elon musk or any of them by name but uh, I, so I'm, I'm not sure that she actually believes that Bill Gates uh, is putting sterilants or whatever in vaccines in Africa. I, I have made this statement many times. I will make it again because apparently Jessica Wildfire who I can't imagine will listen to this rant, but would somebody please send this rant to Jessica Wildfire to see if she has the fucking, oop, I'm sorry, to see if she has the balls to respond to it. She totally uh, glosses over the fact that Bill Gates, the Gates, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, has provided more vaccines to sub-Saharan Africans than any human on the planet, which is the reason that Bill Gates, Bill Gates is more responsible for the, the births and the, the lives uh, of uh, of millions of people in sub-Saharan Africa who never should have been born. My guess is the population of southern uh, of sub-Saharan Africa. Good Lord, how many people are alive in sub-Saharan Africa today because of Bill Gates and his vaccine crusade over there to see the highest and best use according to Bill Gates and apparently to Jessica Wildfire and Alex Jones is how many sub-Saharan Africans can, can we pack in to sub-Saharan Africa, which is the reason that every single earthling that sub-Saharan African humans share the planet with are heading into the stew pot. Uh, every one of those shithole countries was in overshoot when Bill Gates got there with his free vaccines. Uh, the Bill Gates vaccine uh, program, uh, as I say, has put 20 million sub-Saharan Africans uh, on the map, which is why I think the UN is talking about there's going to be 20 million uh, sub-Saharan Africans uh, getting their black asses to Honkyville uh, over, over, over the rest uh, 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 of this century. Every one of those uh, African migrants into Europe and more and more to the U.S. You can thank Bill Gates uh, for that. Uh, good Lord, I could go on and on, but uh, I do want to cut Jessica a little bit of slack. Okay, guys, even though I am a staunch Malthusian, I have not really read Malthus since I was in college, good Lord, 44 years ago. And even then, I, I will fully admit, I have never read Thomas Malthus's. I, I have never literally read what he wrote a couple of hundred years ago. And, 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 and number one, there is absolutely no way to apply what Thomas Malthus 
was writing when the population of this planet was about one eighth of, of what it is now. But I am going to assume, what was that on oh, my glasses? I am going to assume that uh, Jessica Wildfire w w was not completely j j just pulling facts out of the air or out of her ass or wherever. And what she w w was harping on over and over and over again was that Malthus w w was basically saying that poor, you know, poor people, uh, that he singled out, that he separated poor people from rich people. And, and her, her implication, certainly, uh, was that Malthus uh, was an, you know, an elite, an elitist himself, and he was only, you know, talking about uh, overpopulation and, and famine and all of this, that he was singling out poor people and that the, the implication being that he was a defender of rich people. Okay, I want to make it clear. If that is indeed what Malthus was saying, uh, on, on any level saying that we need to get rid of poor people and, and, and not get rid of rich people. Okay, uh, I guess I am a Malthusian on steroids. We get it, Jessica. The rich people need to be the first to go. Okay, I have no problem uh, with agreeing with uh, Jessica Wildfire that the uber rich per capita e eat a shitload more of this planet uh, th and then per capita poor people. Of course, Jessica Wildfire, being a limp dick lefty breeder, does not understand the concept of planet nibbling. And, uh, you know, talking about, you know, subliminally about this, uh, about this uh, bullshit a depopulation agenda by the elites or the New World Order, she completely glossed over the fact that the birth rates in the poorest countries are the highest on the planet by orders of magnitude as the birth rates tumble in rich countries. So for if these elites are, are, are trying to increase their numbers like, like Elon Musk is, while having a depopulation agenda against poor people, they are failing miserably. She does not, obviously, Obviously, Jessica Wildfire is not going to point out that the birth rates uh, in, 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 in these countries uh, are, 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 you know, while the vast majority of the people being born uh, on, the, on this planet uh, for the balance of this century are from these shithole third world countries. Uh, which is why they're all heading our way. Uh, and I wish to hell that Greg Abbott would send a busload of them to Ithaca, New York, so I could find someone to come work around this place. Uh, but, but anyway, she completely fails to mention the dropping birth rates in the rich countries, which is the the one sign of her, 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 the, the, the one sign of her uh, on this planet today, 
is the falling birth rates of the rich countries as opposed to the skyrocketing birth rates uh, of these poor people. Thank God, at least, Jessica Wildfire stopped short uh, of saying, they're only trying to feed their families. We didn't get to hear, they're only trying to feed their families. And, uh, and she stopped just short of saying, which uh, if you listen to the Alex Jones rant, which is hilarious, she stopped saying out loud uh, th this crap uh, about anybody who thinks there are too many people on this planet needs to kill themselves. I just heard Elon Musk in, in a, uh, in a uh, rant uh, just last week Elon Musk bringing out, do these people think they're original? Do they think they're funny? By if you point out that the number one problem facing this planet is there's too goddamn many people on it eating too much stuff, like my favorite billionaire with the five children, Ted Turner, who shows up in the Alex Jones rant, you I uh, need to kill yourself. That killing one person uh, is going to solve the overpopulation problem. Thank you, Jessica, for at least not, uh, you know, going to that fallback. Uh, Alex Jones line that if you agree with Thomas Malthus uh, that the number one problem on the planet, and, and he was talking about when there were what? About one eighth of the number of humans that are on this planet. Uh, it, it, was, it was the biggest problem. Then I guess Thomas Malthus should have killed himself. I'm waiting for Jessica Wildfire to come up with that shit coming out of her mouth. Anyway, guys, I'll shut up now, and uh, maybe I'll come back uh, talking about peak oil, which is the nice calm rant I had planned until I uh, got delivered this... Uh, this plate full of horse shit from the uh, hilariously self-proclaimed doomer, uh, Jessica Wildfire. You don't know what a doomer is, Jessica. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't uh, know what to do with a doomer. You, 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 you are a piker. Bye, guys. Yes, I don't know.